Hello and welcome to the segment Quick 10. My name is Asim Khan. Let's have a look at today's top stories. Petrol and diesel prices were hiked today again by 80 paisa a liter each, taking the total increase in rates in the last 12 days to 7.20 rupees per liter. Rates have been increased across the country and vary from state to state depending upon the incidence of the local taxation. Supreme Court Judge Justice B.V. Nagratna said that the maternity should not be a barrier in women's careers and providing access to quality childcare at the workplace would ensure that motherhood does not become an obstacle to women's empowerment. The Delhi High Court asked the police to file a status report on the alleged vandalism outside Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's residence earlier this week and said that the unruly crowd sought to create an element of fear and the police force at the spot was inadequate and outnumbered. Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man accused Prime Minister Narendra Modi of robbing the state of its rights amid a political row over Union Home Minister Amit Shah's recent announcement that central service rules will apply to employees of Chandigarh. Four people including a man and his daughter have been arrested in Mathura, Uttar Pradesh for allegedly borrowing 2.8 crore rupees from two banks mortgaging fake gold jewellery. Nepal Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deba met External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar and Foreign Secretary Harsh Sringla in Delhi. Sri Lanka has declared a state of emergency giving sweeping powers to security forces. President G. Rajapaksa invoked the tough law a day after hundreds tried to storm his house in anger over an unprecedented economic crisis. Ahead of the no-trust vote on Sunday, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has claimed that there is danger to his life, but he declared he will keep up the fight until the very end. A massive strike in Kharkiv struck a gas pipeline, causing a massive fire. The fire destroyed several stores in the area. Several Ukrainian cities have been reduced to rubble after continued attacks by Russian forces. China is accusing the United States of instigating the war in Ukraine and says NATO should have been disbanded following the breakup of the Soviet Union. Well, this concludes today's segment. For more updates, keep watching BBN News Channel and do like, share, comment and subscribe. Goodbye.